outside. Today is Theo's two month doctor's appointment. He's getting his first needles. Hope he takes them well. I'm sure he'll, I'm sure he'll be tough. I'm sure he'll be tough, he'll take it well. Just outside enjoying the nice weather, letting the dogs out. I had to mow the lawn already. Can you believe it? That's exciting. Summer's just about here. Better not blink, because you'll miss it. Diesel, what's that? A squirrel? Where'd he go? Good job, good job, Pizzo. Squirrel Patrol. It's a squirrel? This is not a drill. This is not a drill. It's a squirrel. <laughs> he's just... I don't know if he's panicking or if he's excited. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for this day. This day came too soon. Diesel? Is that your friend? Absolutely not. Weasels and squirrels are not friends. We are arch nemesis. So bad. Oh, you're so brave. You're so brave. It was very dramatic for a second there. Hey, very dramatic. He's good. <laughs> he didn't even cry for that long. No, he was a squeak for a minute. First one. So brave. So brave. Two month vaccines. All good to go. Done and done. When Such a he, brave boy. When did he say the next one was going to be? Four months. Four months. Two more months. Yeah. That was nothing, right? And the reward is more boob juice. He did so good, Theo. He did so good. What a tough guy. It's time to go home. And we're back in town, and we need to get some building supplies. This is the new McMunn and Yates. Remember this place burnt down? Britt was just going to check to see if they're still open because every business in Steinbeck likes to close like right after supper. So right after people get off work and they want to spend money, oh, too bad, everything's closed. They're only open during the during the day when you're working. They only want to work when you're working. They don't want to make money. <laughs> Making money, that's silly. So we've got to take both car seats. We have one car seat in the truck, but that car seat doesn't click into the stroller. So we have to take along this car seat so we can take them in the stroller. We took the truck because we're going grocery shopping and we need the storage space. We are looking for new countertops for the house. We figure if we've got to put a new counter over the dishwasher, we may as well just replace the whole counter to match. We'll see if this was a good idea or not. Much to Josh's chagrin, my idea. That's the French side. Or is it in English? There it is. No, that's still the French side. Oh, it's English and <laughs> Just reading the French. 
Yep, we, uh, so we bought three of these new countertops for the house. Like I was saying before, we got to build a countertop and a cabinet for the new dishwasher anyway, so while we're putting countertop up, why not redo all the countertops so it matches and so it's actually nicer than the weird countertops we have now, which is, they made it with flooring. It's like flooring for a countertop and it's all poorly sealed and water can get in. New countertops, that's the answer. Finger jointed acacia countertop. Is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> All right, there we go. Future Josh coming at you again from Old Blue. So, spoiler alert, we get back in the truck eventually. You don't care. So the main event from today was that Theo got his first needles. It's a regular thing, all babies do it. At two months, four months, there's more. And you know, he handled it like a champion. <laughs> a tough guy. You heard it there. That, that, that's all it was. was he just like, ah, what was that? Ah, it wasn't so bad. No, I'm fine. Fine. That was good to hear. He's going to be a tough kid. That's good. Grow up to be a big, strong man one day. Probably way stronger than me. Hopefully he's in better shape than me. Theo, if you're watching this in the future, hope you're keeping in shape. Keep exercising, man. Don't be like me. I'm going to start exercising, okay? I got a little bit of extra pounds on me. I shouldn't have let it get this far. I don't want to make excuses for it. I can be like, oh, that's life. Oh, I haven't had time. It is what it is. But you took your first needles like a champion. I was proud of you. That was awesome. Awesome to see. So that's done. And after that, we went and bought new countertops. I didn't know we were buying new countertops when we walked in there. This was the wife's plan. And now I have, I have been signed up for a new project that I was unaware that I was going to be signed up for. <laughs> I don't know how to install countertops, but I'm gonna find out. Don't tell her that, okay? I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out. Can't be that hard. I've already looked it up. You watch a few videos on YouTube and stuff. I have uncles and my dad. Uh, they've all done this before. I, I'll be fine. I wanna get this done myself. I wanna do this project myself. So we'll pull the old countertops off, we'll cut the new ones. That's the main thing I'm worried about, right? Cutting them, because they're butcher block, right? Or they're, they're wood, yeah. So you gotta cut them and then you have to follow regulations about how to seal the cut properly. Because it's it's gotta be food grade, everything's gotta be food grade, right? So I've gotta do a little bit of research on this and figure out what I'm doing and then we're just gonna replace them all. We've, Figure, you know, we, we bought the dishwasher. I'm gonna install it. I got all the parts. I'm gonna do it myself. I know how to, I'm confident that I know how to do it. It's pretty simple. You hook up the hot water line, you hook up the drain, you hook up the power, you secure the dishwasher. Voila. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, install the dishwasher, all the plumbing myself, uh, and then I'm gonna secure the dishwasher to the floor for now because this dishwasher that we bought is designed that you can do that. So, I'm gonna secure it right to the subfloor so that we can at least use it, right? And then we have to build that countertop over top of it. Usually a dishwasher would be secured to the countertop as well, which it will be eventually, but I'll secure it to the floor for now so we can at least use it in the meantime while I figure out what I'm doing with these counters. Uh, so we figure instead of just, you know, building a, a little counter on top of just the dishwasher, why don't we just redo all the countertops right away? Why not? We're uh, redoing the shower in our bathroom soon too, and we've done so much to this house already, and, you know, we're not gonna be staying in it forever but you know stuff like this you redo the bathroom you redo the kitchen those are big selling points in the house so in a, in a couple of years or whenever we decide that we want to move into a bigger house whenever we feel that we're ready uh, you know the house will be ready to sell and it'll be it'll look good or maybe we'll keep it maybe we'll keep it as a long-term rental I don't know well we haven't decided yet for now we know we're staying here we're saving up our money because the housing market right now is so ridiculous in Canada They've dropped the ball so hard that nobody can afford anything anymore and everything is so expensive. This is a topic for a video all on its own so I won't get into it. You get it. You live in the same world I do, I'm pretty sure, unless if this video is going to the next dimension or something. In that case, our dimension is getting very expensive if you're watching from another one. Send help. <laughs> we need prices to go down. But at the same time, you know, you buy a house, it's scary when prices go down, right? So we're gonna buy a new house. The house is like, say you buy a house, you spend $400,000 on a house. In Manitoba, that, 
you can get away with that. The average house price right now in Canada is almost $900,000, I think. So you buy, let's say you buy a house for a million dollars. You got a nice little bungalow, you got a nice little whatever. A million dollars, then finally the housing market corrects itself and that million dollar house is now only worth 450,000, where it should be. Maybe 350, where it should be. You still owe a million dollars on the house and now it's only worth 350. You know how, you understand how that could just be devastating to people. Because a lot of people in Canada have their whole retirement savings in their house. And they're depending on those housing prices to stay up so that they can sell when they retire and have that money to, you know, live on. Ah, so it's a crazy world that we're in, but we're doing fine. Like, you don't got to worry about us or anything. We're doing fine. We have a very low budget lifestyle right now. This house is really cheap to live in. And we did that on purpose. So now we're going to really buckle down and save, 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 so that we can put a hefty, like I'm talking a big chunk of change, down on a house. Like a big chunk of change. I want to be able to walk in there like a boss, like a king. And when we find the house, that's just perfect for us. And we walk in there with our realtor and we'll be like, we'll walk in, we'll look at each other and we're like, is this the one? And we'll be like, this is the one. We'll turn around and we'll just like, wham! Big wad of cash, and okay, maybe we won't use cash don't want to carry around that much cash but we'll turn around and tell them we'll take it get out it's ours now i want to walk in there with confidence not worrying about oh are we going to be able to afford this are we going to be able to afford the payments what if the interest rates go up are we going to be able to afford it if the interest rates go up i don't want to have to worry about that we're going to have a huge down payment so that 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 mortgage is just really small i'd love to buy a house in cash but you know this, we do have to live in reality we are stuck in reality i've tried to you know, get out of it, but no, got to follow the rules of reality just like everybody else. You have to pay full price for a house. So that that's our plan right now. But, uh, yeah, so we're, we're going to redo these countertops anyways. New countertops, dishwasher, we got a new washer and dryer in there, new 60-gallon hot water tank. We're going to have a new shower, new bathtub, bathroom's going to be redone. We've got a new air conditioner installed. we got a dehumidifier in the crawl space installed. Uh, we've painted... Uh, the bedrooms, I'm going to paint the rest of the house on the inside yet. We're painting the outside of the house this year. This thing is going to look, mm, when it hits the market, it'll be gone whenever that is, hopefully. Or maybe it'll be so nice that we just want to keep it. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Either way, we're, we're going to be proud of the house that we're in. We, we do own it. Some people have asked, do you rent? No, we don't rent. No, no, no. Uh, we own it. It's ours. But at the same time, we want to we wanna update it and keep it up to date. That's what we're going to do. So thanks for watching today, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, Diesel goes in for his procedure. Uh, he's got to get knocked out. Uh, they've done that EKG, so we got to get the results of that EKG in tomorrow's video. And we got to uh, take him to the vet, and he'll be there for the whole day. And um, uh, I was pretty nervous about it going in there. It was pretty hard for me to drop him off there. Remember, I am future Josh, so I don't want to spoil anything for you. But uh, it was difficult. It was a difficult time dropping him off there. So uh, no spoilers. you got to watch tomorrow's video, okay? Diesel's going to the vet. I'll see you then. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Don't miss it.